Hey, Coach, it's Jody Dilling with Cardinal Authority. What's uh, just kind of what is what has camp been like for you and the adjustment? Uh, you know, coming in as the new guy on staff to get your spring cut short and uh, and now fall camp. What's it been like for you and and how you've adjusted with the staff? Well, it's been great. You know, when you're surrounded around a great group of men and and players. Um, and with a great culture, you know, the transition is, is been, has been seamless. Um, so it's been a great transition. Um, I'm, it's been exciting. Um, we've been going out to work each and every day, uh, attacking each day and, and just trying to get better, better in preparation for our first football game. So camp's been well. Um, the transition's been smooth and uh, everything's been going well. Hey, Derek, Cameron with the Courier Journal. You came in with a pretty good um, inside linebacking core. Just kind of mm-hmm. what have you seen from from those guys, and specifically with CJ and Dorian? How much have they stepped up as leaders, not only of the linebackers but the whole defense? Well, you know they you know they've led by example mostly. You know when you're a linebacker, you know you're a leader of the defense, and uh, you know we got say defense wins championships, so you're gonna lead the football team, and so they've done a good job of that. Um, they're very experienced. They played a lot of football around here, so um, you know they know what to do. They're smart. They're intelligent. Um, they're they're in the right spots. Um, I think they attack this um, you know this situation that we're in, you know, with the quarantine and the COVID and all the unknowns. I think they attacked it like professionals, and um, you know they've been they, they've done everything we've asked them to do. So. Um, they, they got a bright future ahead of them, um, and I'm looking forward to watching them play here, you know, when we get going uh, September 12th. So, I mean, I'm, I'm very excited about them. They, they've done a great job so far. Coach, and, this and is Gary Graves from the AP. The Have you – Go ahead, Gary. No, go ahead. Oh, no, you go ahead, Cameron. Derek, here, dude, I was on the guys behind CJ and Dorian. Kind of who who is who has kind of stood out to you as they kind of battle for for a position on that depth chart? Well, you know, you know, guys is um, you know, Monty Montgomery's been around here for a little bit. He's played um, you know some situations last year, you know, particularly on third down, and he's done a great job of that. You know, being one of the second leaders on our team last year. So he he's a guy that that that's had a solid camp. Still looking for him to be more consistent. And, uh, and, you know, just be that other bail cow at that position. Um, you know, th- there's been a lot of bright spots, a lot of good things I've seen out of Alan Smith and Dorian Jones and, and KJ Cloyd. You know, he just got here and uh, he, he, he's shown he has shown us a, some some pretty good stuff on um, the first week. You know, he says he's been here and show some flashes. So um, we got a bright young group of players, um, you know, like Alan and Dorian and, and, and KJ. And uh, I, uh, they've gotten better each and every day. Um, it's a marathon, not a sprint. But they still got to have that urgency. And when they're when they're on that football field, they're a first teamer. And so I think their mindset has changed over the last few weeks since we started camp and actually got to the thick of things. And um, I've been pleased um, thus far. But we got to continue to you know get better and 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 be finite and detailed and. Uh, and, you know, be be meticulous at everything we do. And they have. And so I'm excited about their future and um, and just looking forward to, again, watching them get better each and every day. Coach, this is Gary Gray from the AP. Along that line, what kind of versatility does that give you, um, you know, in describing the, the talents of these guys? Well, you know, they they're all a little bit different. Um, you know, Doran Etheridge and CJ are both older guys. They're experienced. Um, you know, Doran Etheridge is more your traditional Mike linebacker. CJ is a converted safety and he was a safety at a high school. So he gives you that coverage ability, but he has natural linebacker instincts. You know, Alice Smith is a long kid that can run. Dorian Jones is more of your inside guy thumper. KJ uh, Cloyd is a uh, physical spec- a specimen. Um, he can run, he can hit. Um, he does some good things uh, naturally, rushing the passer. And then you got a guy like Monty Montgomery, who's, you know, jack of all trades, who can really, really come off the edge and rush the passer, who's very athletic and ultra talented. And, you know, when, when if we just continue to, to be detailed and be finite and meticulous and uh, and continue to get better each and every day, um, I think I think we we're going to be pretty good um, at this position. And, and, and I'm looking forward to just watching them and continue to watch them grow and learn 
and um, become who they're able to be, you know, become the players that they can be. And so, um, like I said, it's a marathon, not a sprint. We Everybody's a little bit different, and that's the beauty part of it right now. Coach, this is Matt Here, with Sports Illustrated. How has KJ Cloyd looked since he's arrived on campus? Has he adjusted to the new system well? Well, you know, like any, like any guy, you know, coming from, you know, high school or junior college to a complex multiple scheme, there's going to be s- some transition. You know, things are f- all over the place. Things are happening fast. Um, sometimes, you you know, your head is spinning a little bit. But one thing KJ has done, he's been very mature. He, he's, he's approached it like a pro. Um, and he has learned at a fast pace. Um, he's shown, like I said, flashes of what he can be and his potential. Um, the biggest thing about guys like Cage just coming in here is, uh, you know, obviously uh, being available, staying healthy, and uh, and just um, being consistent. You know, that's for any newcomer. When you're coming in, you got to be available. You got got to be. You have to be consistent, and you got to learn fast. Um, you know, they're, 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 the veterans or guys that have been around, they get, they're, they're ahead of the curve. They're ahead of you. So in order to gain that ground and catch up to them, you got to have that sense of urgency to learn, to prepare, to calculate at a faster pace than they are, than, they, than they're doing. And so that takes a little bit more preparation, a little bit more film study, um, asking more questions, making sure you understand the concepts and the techniques. And so he's done that. Um, he's going to be a bright spot. He has a bright future. And uh, I'm thrilled to be coaching him. I really am. Glad we got him here. One more for Coach, and we'll wrap up here. Derek Hayes, Jody again. Uh, Brian Brian had talked about Monty, and and, and you mentioned the, the, the versatility and you know, did a lot of things with him last year. Is he a guy that, that can play both of the positions for you? And do you anticipate kind of moving him around, I guess, so to speak, a little bit throughout the year? He can. Um, he can. There, there's multiple, um, you know, guys, um, Dorian, CJ, Monty, even Dorian Jones, that that I've, we have cross trained that we have, you know, moved around from Mike to Will, Will to Mike, um, you know. You know, Monty, uh, you know, he rushes the passer on, you know, obvious passing situations when we go into some of our packages. And so when you have, you know, those different skill sets and players that can do a lot of different um, things, um, you you get excited as a defensive coach because now you can move puzzle pieces around to affect the game, to, to, to give, you know, the offensive coordinator a little bit of salt to think about. And so um, that's the beautiful part about being with this group is a lot of guys that can do a variety of different things. They can cover backs and tight ends. They can go and get out to the passer and rush the quarterback, and then they could be that linebacker, your traditional 3 4 4 3 linebacker, and triangle key read and, and, and play ball inside the box. And so, um, Monty is able to do that um, with all of them, not just him, just being more consistent, and we will. And uh, like I said, our future's bright in that position um, because of the skill set and the ability that we do have. And so, um, I'm excited. Um, Got to continue to get better each and every day. And, uh, and and gear up and get ready uh, for September 12th. All right. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. No problem. Thanks for having me. Coach, you just came out the all right, we'll shift gears now and we'll open things up for Louisville linebacker Dorian Etheridge. Hey, Dorian, uh, Cameron from Curry Journal. I'm curious, just how much improvement have you seen from this defense from, obviously, you had a pretty good Music City Bowl, um, and then you the spring and the summer. How, how much has this defense really improved and grown since that time? Um, tremendously. I mean, guys just have, have been able to go out there and just play with confidence because, like, I mean, this is our second year with um, Coach Brown, and we've we just been able to, like, you, you can play a lot faster and with confidence when you know what you're doing. Hey, it's Jody from CardinalAuthority.com. What 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 did you specifically try to work on in spring, and and maybe in fall camp? What what did you feel like you needed to get better at in the second year in this system? 
Um, de- definitely plan faster. Plan faster. Um, um, taking risk. Taking risks, it's just, you know, you gotta take risks to um, make those plays. You know, I just, I just want been focusing on um, becoming more of a playmaker. As a follow up, do you think you've gotten there? And and do you feel like is it a big difference if you do feel like you're playing faster right now than, than maybe you were this time last year? Oh, definitely. I mean, definitely. It's, it's, it's a lot of times where I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll get the call. I mean, going against going against an offense like ours, it, it calls you to think a lot. And one of those things I found out this year is just like we'll get the call, and I I don't have to think as much at all, and it just allows me to just play football. It just like it allows me to use some of my raw athleticism. Hey, you and Dorian TK have again. both played a. You Dorian, and TJ yeah. have both played a ton of a ton of games, Dorian. Yeah. What? Uh, how? Can, can you kind of describe? It, it seems like you guys know what each other, it, where you're going to be and how you're going to do things and like that. Is it just become that because you've been out there so many games together that you kind of, you, you know each other so well? Yeah, I mean, we, we've we've been playing together since, what, freshman year? So, I mean, it's just one of those things where it's like, as soon as I mess up, uh, I'll instantly know. Because, he, I mean, he's right there. Like, I know what he has to do. He know what I have to do. We hold each other accountable. And, I mean, we just we just learn from each other, too. Dorian, kind of off that, with, with the experience you and CJ have, I mean, you guys are probably the um, the leaders of this defense. How much have you guys talked about just seizing the opportunity you guys have to to kind of help turn things around for the defense in, in your last season? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it's just a special thing to be able to play beside the same linebacker for what, four years. And, I mean, it's just one of those things where it's just like, it's just one. It's our last ride. So you know I mean, so like, why, why, why would we waste this opportunity? Like, let's just go out there and like just leave it all out there. Hey, Doran, this is Matt Evans hey, yeah. Sports Illustrated. Obviously, last spring and fall, you were under inside linebackers coach Dale Jones. How has it been different this at this spring and this fall under Derek Nicholson? <sighs> coach Nick brings a, a lot of um. Let me see, energy, energy. He he's somebody that, that um that knows a lot of ball. And for us to be like, I mean, considered to be older players and experienced guys, we've learned so much on them. Just in this short time, really. Dorian, what is Jody again? What what is Monty what does Monty bring to the table for this defense? He play he made a lot of key plays last year. How much have you seen him improve and kind of what does he bring to the defense from from what he can do. Yeah, um, playmaking ability. I mean, he he's a guy that I mean, any third like third down against any team, it doesn't matter who we're playing against. I mean, like top tens in the nation, he 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 can be a problem on third down. I mean, he he's just he's just one of those special athletes that that I mean that you don't you don't get all the time. You you're not around those athletes all the time. You don't play against athletes like that all the time. Once he learns to be like just more consistent, I mean, it's just more hard for us to keep him off the field. Right now, he's one of those guys. He's like a package guy. Right now, he's like he comes in, and I mean, he just he produces when he does things right. Every time he does things right, he he he, he produces. He just has to become more consistent. You mentioned on the, uh, during the kickoff lunch that this defense is kind of light and night and day better than than you were this time last year. How much? Uh, what is it? Is it just the the, the continuity? Is it is it a little bit of everything? What? Why do you think you guys are so much better? I mean, a lot of it is the confidence. A lot of it is the confidence for certain. I mean, coming off of um, the year we were two and ten, it wasn't it wasn't. I mean, it's, it's hard to have a confidence when you come off of a year like that. I mean, coming in, coming off a year like last year with a bowl game win. This is my first time winning a bowl game since I've been in college. You know what I mean? So it, it's just like it's just. We have like a lot to build off of. We definitely have a lot of bit, a lot to build off of. I mean, guys coming back, we'll return like eight starters on defense. So I mean, it, it's a lot of older guys out there with experience, and I mean, it's just, it's just exciting. Anything else for Dorian? Yeah, Dorian. Yeah. I'll kind of off that. It sounds like there's a lot of optimism for you guys defensively coming into this year. How different is that than maybe what it was last year? And do you think that um, that helps this group um, kind of carrying going into the season? Yeah, I mean, we, we know what's on us. We know what our office can do. 
I mean, we know they're they're a top twenty five offense. I mean, we, we know what they can do. It, it's just on us right now. So I mean, we we didn't we didn't we taking pride in that. We knowing that we can be the deciding factor of, of like how our season go. I mean, we we didn't have that great of a year last year as far as defensively, but but we we were learning, and we still I mean we still what finished second on our side in the ACC. So it's just like we we continue to improve. We know the sky's the limit. Dorian, you you. You, uh, you're one of the team leaders you see every day. How scary is it for an opponent to line up against your offense and what, what you've seen so far uh, in preseason with all the weapons that they have? <laughs> I mean, really, you, you turn on the film and it really speaks for themselves. I mean, we got playmakers at every position and with depth. I mean, it's just one of those things where you you can't just key in on, on, a, on, a, on one player. I mean, you try to key in on – or a Hawk or a Sonny, and then we got Tutu out there. You try to key in on Tutu, we got Dez. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's, it's weapons all around. I mean, quarterback, streaming quarterback. One of the things that is the hardest thing to prepare for as it for a defense is a scrambling quarterback. So it's just like, I mean, it's, it's literally, it's, it's weapon after weapon after weapon. All right, we'll wrap up on that, Dorian. We appreciate it. Thanks everybody for being with us. Enjoy your night.